that obviously influences it, right? Um, and I feel like you have a good attitude for this um, of knowing that I think you finally, I mean, I don't want to say finally believe, I don't want to put a word in your mouth, but I think, you know, you almost said it to me or kind of said it the other day about the creeping in of what we're doing uh, into your swing. Um, so I, I always have felt like this, um, that we put, we put limits on our swings at some, at some point to, um, with each person, their, their physical ability, their athleticism, strength, everything, mobility, and then with our swing, then we put limits on it that it's gonna be hard to pass. Like, you know, it's just, a certain swing isn't gonna shoot a 68 one day. It's just not gonna happen. <laughs> I mean, it's just, there's just certain things that won't happen, right? Now, so, and I you really, I, I don't know, um, enough about your game like i'd have to come kind of watch you players study at arcos a little more lately i and i i've hesitated on arcos because i feel like since you've really started playing well you had all those rounds in um florida and you know here the other day you didn't get one night so i feel like it's we don't have a huge block of this evidence to look at and really say okay here here's where we need to loot you know start to save a few more strokes you know because you know we, we fight when you're going from 110 to 100 you're knocking like 10 strokes off here let's knock off 10 strokes um you know going from 80 79 80 you know i guess where you're at about um you know going down to 76 is a pretty good clip right and figuring out what those are at so what i always think is this is you know i, I want to remove barriers um to bar I, I just say barriers entry entry into that new level into that new zone and I and, and looking at your swing to say what are your barriers? What what would hold you back? And it's always what I'm looking at are it's not like okay because yours doesn't look like some. It's always this what's going on down at impact I'm looking at. And okay, so what causes your impact not to be perfect? Okay, um, it, you know 100% perfect where we had less rotation as club, we get the perfect you know amount of like rotation through it and whatever. So what is it? Um, a lot of it is the um, the early extension on the way. So you're extending, I don't know if I did it right. I mean, whatever, it's a little bit on the way back, but I don't think you can ever recover that, recover from that move, okay? Um, and so I, I don't, I, I, I would say, I understand your thoughts about feeling like it can't, maybe you can't do it with injuries and other stuff. Um, I'm not giving up on it yet. I, I, I'm not, okay? Like, I, I'm not, I'm, I, I just don't feel like we're at that point yet to give up. And I, I still would say that this is like, yes, you're working on it. Yes, you've worked on a lot of things. Um, I just feel like you have the work ethic to get through this that like, if if we put the, I'm not saying right now is when we do it, but if there's ever a point where like, okay, we're fixing this, I, I, I I think, and I, I want it to become a block right now that we're working on, okay? Because I feel like this is gonna clear up a lot of these other things down here if we can get you not standing up so much, okay? So it's just, um, we need to feel that we are backing up, okay? So one of the reasons, I, I still love this drill here where we're getting out here, you know, ball inside. But just getting that feeling of, one of the feels I think that's so good with this alignment stick of running down my side is just feeling that little shift into this trail side here into the inside of my trail heel i'm pushing with my foot too so i stay on the inside of it but then i'm looking at my mirror right now see how much i go back you know i've moved back quite a bit and if you look when i stay up against this i should get higher here and i move i move quite a bit back this way behind me if we never like once you get to where you're at you come forward you're done you're, you're on your toes there's no way for you to go from that point back to here okay and and i'm sure that totally makes a lot of sense because i know you can feel the difference between doing the drill and then you stand up and hit one and it, and you don't feel it so i want to see just a one-to-one -one ratio of doing it um so maybe you don't even do it at home that much because you're not hitting a ball i mean it's up to you but, you know, feeling that we're getting into this trail heel on the way back, okay? I'm gonna trail heel, toe on the front, okay? 
So as long as I get that depth here, I think you're gonna have a much easier time. And, and we're still gonna feel like the ball's on this inside here, because I don't want you ever to have to like, uh, stretch out here. I still want you to feel like you got this depth that you gotta then come here, okay? Um, I have high hopes for it, I really do. I think you're gonna get it. I think you can, I really do think you keep working. I think you keep on going this route. I think we can get you to a scratch golfer. I, I really do. Um, I don't know what I'd have to, you know, I'd have to find out more, like, do I think you have that ability with chip? I just feel like the way you have the ability to learn this game, I think you're athletic enough to do it, that whether or not we have to make it up in chipping or full game, I don't know yet. I'd have to see, or even in putting, getting you become a, a more, a better putter. I don't know the answer to that yet. Um, but when we figure that out, I don't, I don't see why you can't, why you can't get there. To me, I've always said this, and I think I said this to you, that a good golfer should be heading down that way, or, or, should, or should eventually get there when they're working that way. And I don't, I said with a little hesitancy too, because I don't want to put pressure like, oh geez, I should get there and I'm not there, only 80. No, okay, you're doing what you should do, okay? You're, you're, you're in a good spot, you're doing what you should do. And um, you have a lot of things, I mean, you are, I mean, I'm, I, I'll consider myself older too. I know you're, I don't, I don't even know how old you are really. I think you're, I can't remember if you're 57 or what, but um, whatever, you've been doing some moves for a while, right? I, it's just, it's, we have to get these out. So um, I, know, I know you understand that motor pattern, getting those out. So I really want, like that. So I like you having the um, pushing back when we're doing this drill too, and then feeling that, okay? Um, that drill. Okay, so then the next one I really like is um, a great way to do this is um, the heels together, toes apart to really continue to work on impact, okay? Um, I'm getting forward, okay? So this is what I want you to do. Um, we're gonna do, you can do feet together or heels together, toes apart, whatever you want. Okay, but if you notice how far forward I have this, I have it way up here, okay? Because I want you to come through here and feel like there's just this weight that you have to, to get it. You know, you'll probably catch a lot thin. Um, but it's gonna give you a different feeling of what you're doing with your arms and hands all the way through, okay? Um, and I don't, I don't even think you have to start that far ahead. Get used to it, you know, right, um, I would get used to what it's like, right, you know, basically up, you know, I'd say it's off the inside the lead uh, heel. So just kind of feel like what that's like first to get used to that, okay? Um, then the, uh, I think that's just a great drill to work on getting that ahead, you know, and even just in your practice swings, just figure out what does it take me to get up there, which, you know, I, I, so I love this step drill too, to help get that feeling of what is it like to go up, up ahead of like that, up front. Um, finally is this one here. So you're here of some sort here on your pocket. Let's see, pocket about right here. I, this is the camera, it's probably gonna be a little off for here. You're almost in the pocket, like this. The case kind of open a little bit. Um, so when we're up here, with we're gonna have our arm on the shoulder, we're gonna have to feel this staying up there a little longer and bringing this out with us out here, okay? So we're bringing that out, but watch how much more that gets my shoulders open. I mean, so if I'm here, I mean, look how I'm opening. I'm gonna be so much more open. Um, and so I would just say, he, it's like all things with good golfers. You've just taken this thing and you've gotten too far. But like I said, like I throw up when I, <laughs> when I see somebody like this chopping down. Like I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> but then, you know, I don't when I see this. I'm like, okay, that's all right. We'll fix that. So just here. You're gonna feel a lot more open and eventually you're gonna like it because you'll get you'll get the better height and stuff. You're still gonna be coming from the inside. It's just a matter of, we don't want this anymore pulling down. We never wanna really, really pull down. Now you may have needed to for a little while um, and you're probably gonna to have to feel a little bit of less closed as long. Okay, you may feel yourself opening a little bit earlier 
I just, I ask that you just, you're gonna have, I'm gonna want you to pay attention to where you're at here, okay? And, and the biggest thing I see that goes wrong with this when people do this is they pull this thing down and they don't practice with um, moving it correctly. So for here, I'm gonna just go, what? So slowly I went, it's behind my hands and I got the um, good position for the uh, face, right? Comes down there, so I go a little more left. Um, I still think for you when, you, when you have those duck hooks, like when you play, um, when we know, right, when I, we know the club face is just, your path is, I knew when you said your path had to be way to the right based on you telling me that it's starting on target or a little right. I knew your path had to be crazy, probably like 15 or something. Um, then what you should do to try to get out of it is feel like you're uh, trying to fade it. Why? Because then you're going to hold the, probably the face even a little bit more open and um, hopefully bring that path down and see more of a shot that probably will still draw, but um, you know, much less, and you'll get that shot you want a lot higher. You just constantly pay attention to where you're at here. It's just the thing you've learned, which is really good, which I said, is you've learned to hold this back better with angles, and you're probably you're gonna have to do it even more now too, is hold the wrist angle more so you can get here, get it in front of you, instead of back here where you're kind of at, where you're kind of tossing it just a little bit. We want you to end up here. I want you to end up here. See where I'm at? Like my hands here. When you get to level, you're about here, meaning there, there was some movement this way. Too much movement of throwing it down, which, you know, I think it's all part of that, a lot of that open face, instead of just coming here and just turning it slightly on the way down and moving with it, then you're gonna end up with your hands. Look how they are in front. Not back here at that point, okay? So, still got work to do, which I think is always a good thing about golf. I, I think about this, like if I looked at it tonight and go, okay, we're done, you did it. It'd be like, well, what's, <laughs> what do you do? What's left, right? Because we still want to get better. So to me, it's always, and I, I think you're the exact same way as I am. To me, it's always, a, I feel like a good thing when we have the thing, have something to work on and know that we're still continuing to play well and we're just gonna keep working on those getting better. So those three things, let's nail those um, and continually get better at it. And I, I know we will each time. So let me know if you have questions along the way um, and uh, let's just keep rocking. You're doing a great job, buddy. Take care.